Right, so today we're going to look at the new Puppet Warp tool in Adobe Illustrator. Um, Maybe familiar to some of you that use Photoshop, so it pretty much works the same with the Puppet Warp, but arguably it's a little bit more useful in Illustrator, certainly when we're looking at uh, doing animations that we've got or characters that we want to kind of move slightly. So I'm going to come over. So first of all, whatever artwork we want to apply the Puppet Warp to, we just need to make sure we've got it all selected. Okay, so I'm just going to drag over my artwork here with my main selection tool to select this character. And then what I'm going to do is come over to the Puppet Warp tool there. Okay, so we've got Puppet Warp, which is just above the free transformation tool. So if you don't see it there, look, you can just sort of swap over to the to the Puppet Warp tool. And basically, it's pretty easy to use because we're just going to apply pins to where we want to kind of pin the artwork to the artboard because then once I've got those pins I can then move there look and you can see it all kind of relates to each other so I'm pulling the hand up even the neck and the head is moving slightly there okay I can even get a little rotate around like that it looks a bit weird but maybe I wouldn't do that but so we want to sort of put pins in where we want the artwork to stay so again if I wanted to have a slightly different version of this artwork here look, I might want to put a, a few more in here so around his knees and his feet get it all moving around so we've got this mesh that keeps popping up when we're uh, looking at the artwork which is obviously very useful so we can see where it's going to be sort of bending around on us now if you want to kind of um, com really commit to this I suppose all we're going to do is swap over to a different tool that and it applies that transformation for you there so what I'd probably recommend if you are editing an original piece of artwork I mean I can go back in the history just doing a quick control and Z look undoing all the bits that I've just done but what I'd probably do is duplicate the artwork and then work on another one that I'm going to be manipulating round okay let's come across to another artboard here though because what I want to look at is we could also apply to text so I've got a bit of this is live text in a minute it's not been outlined but what it will do when I click on the Puppet Warp tool, so again, just make sure you've got your text selected. When I click on the Puppet Warp and apply it to here, it does actually outline the text. Okay, so straight away, it's no longer active text. It's all made up of anchor points here. But again, exactly the same theory. Like I can apply some of these pins all around the text. If we create some more sort of bespoke logos or anything now, I can pull it down. I can twist it around, grab it in here. Okay. It's a really interesting tool. So it's always been in Photoshop, which has always been useful, but I think uh, it's going to be really, really useful in Illustrator, say for, for designers with text and say animators or illustrators with your animations and uh, characters here. 